aim of this experiment is studying the dependence of potential difference across a resistor on the current passing through it and determine its resistance and plot a graph between V and I. Now let's discuss some theory related to it. Here we will prove the Ohm's law. What is the Ohm's law? In the Ohm's law we will get a relation between the potential difference and current. According to the Ohm's law V is directly proportional to I. When we will remove the proportionality sign then we will introduce a constant of proportionality here that is a R and that R is known as the resistance. Then we will get the equation V is equals to I R. Now with the help of our activity we will prove the Ohm's law and we will calculate the value of the unknown resistance R by using the formula R is equals to V upon I. Material required to do this experiment are battery eliminator. If you have a cell you can use the cell also. One one way key, rheostat, voltmeter, one unknown resistance and one ammeter. Now here I have arranged the operator's diagram for you in that the negative terminal of the battery is connected with one terminal of the key. The other terminal of the key is connected with the rheostat. The next terminal of the rheostat is connected with the unknown resistance and with the unknown resistance the voltmeter is connected in the parallel and the second terminal of the resistance is connected with the negative terminal of the ammeter and the positive terminal of the ammeter is connected with the positive terminal of the battery because we know that ammeter is connected always in the series. Let's discuss the circuit diagram for this experiment. Here we will join the positive terminal of the battery with the positive terminal of the ammeter. Why we are joining the positive terminal of the battery with the positive terminal of the ammeter? Because we have to join the ammeter in series. The next negative terminal of the ammeter is joined with one terminal of the resistor. The same terminal is joined with the positive terminal of the voltmeter. Next negative terminal of the voltmeter is joined to the second terminal of the resistor. The resistor is again joined with the one terminal of the rheostat. The next second terminal of the rheostat is joined with one terminal of the key and the second terminal of the key is joined with the negative terminal of the battery. Now to calculate the least count of our ammeter that we are using in our experiment the 10 divisions of ammeter is equal to 0.5 ampere. It means the 1 division of our ammeter is equal to 0.5 upon 10 that is equal to 0.05 ampere. So the least count of our ammeter is 0.5 that is the 10 readings measure the value that is 0.5 upon 10 the number of division and it is equals to 0 0.05 ampere. In the same way we will find out the least count of our voltmeter. Here also the 10 divisions is equals to 0 0.5 volt. It means the 1 division is equals to 0 0.05 volt. Now we will calculate 10 divisions measure the value. 0 0.5 volt upon 10 division it means the 1 division is equals to 0 0.05 volt. Now we will find out the value of the zero error in our voltmeter and ammeter. To find out the zero error in our ammeter and voltmeter we will switch on the battery so that the current will pass. Now the position of our rheostat is at the zero position. Here the ammeter and voltmeter are giving the values. These values are known as the zero errors. First of all we will calculate the zero error in the ammeter. Here you can see that the five divisions re reading is shown by our ammeter. It means the reading of the ammeter is five into 0 0.05 number of division into the least count of the ammeter and that is equals to 0 0.25 it is the zero error in our ammeter. 
so the zero error in our m meter is equals to five divisions into least count of our m meter that is 0.05 and it is equals to 0.25 ampere now in the same way we will find out the zero error in our voltmeter here the number of division in the voltmeter is 13 when we will multiply 13 with the least count of the voltmeter that is 0.05 volt then we will get the value of 0.65 volt it means the zero error in our voltmeter is 0.65 volt so zero error in our voltmeter is number of division into least count of our voltmeter that is 0.05 and it is equals to 0.65 volt let's start the activity i will adjust the rheostat to get the value on the ammeter as 10 divisions which is equals to 0.5 ampere so the reading in the ammeter is 10 division that is equal to 0.5 ampere and the reading in the voltmeter is 23 divisions and 23 divisions are equal to 1.15 volt so do its calculation in the table reading in the ammeter was 10 division and reading in the voltmeter was 23 division so let's do the calculation 10 divisions of the ammeter into its least count that was 0.05 volt so it is equals to 0.5 ampere now the corrected reading we can calculate by adding our error in it we will add the error because the number of division when the rheostat is at the zero zero position it was after the zero so to calculate the corrected reading observed reading plus error that was 0.5 Zero five, and it is equals to zero point seven five ampere. Now to calculate the reading of the voltmeter, thirteen division into the least count of the voltmeter that was zero point zero five volt, and it is equals to one point one five. volt to find out the corrected reading we will add the error in it 1.15 that was the observed reading plus the error that was 0.65 and it is equals to 1.8 volt now for this reading we will find out the value of the resistance resistance value we can find out by using the formula v upon i so the reading in the voltmeter was 1.8 and the current reading was 0.75 when we will divide it we will get 2.4 ohms now again to take the second reading i am adjusting the rheostat so that the reading in the ammeter will be 15 divisions now the reading in the ammeter is 15 division corresponding to it the reading in the voltmeter is 33 divisions okay now let's do the calculation for it
द रीडिंग इन द एम मीटर इज फिफ्टीन डिवीजन इन टू इट्स लीस्ट काउंट दैट इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव एमपियर इट इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो पॉइंट सेवन फाइव एमपियर टू फाइंड आउट द करेक्टेड रीडिंग जीरो पॉइंट सेवन फाइव ऑब्जर्व रीडिंग प्लस द एरर दैट इज जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइव नाउ वी विल गेट वन पॉइंट जीरो एमपियर to find out the voltmeter reading the number of division was 33 into least count that is 0.05 it is equals to 1.65 volt now to find out the corrected reading observed reading that is 0.65 plus the error that is 0.65 and it is equals to 2.3 volts now to find out the resistance for these values we will use again the formula v upon i now the voltmeter reading is 2.3 upon reading of the current is 1.0 and it is equals to 2.3 3 ohms now again to take the third reading i am adjusting the rheostat so that the reading in our ammeter will be 20 divisions so the reading our in our ammeter is 20 divisions 20 divisions now for it the reading in our voltmeter is 43 divisions let's do our calculation the reading in our ammeter was 20 division into its least count that was 0.05 and it is equals to 1 ampere now to find out the corrected reading we will add zero error in the observed value so 1 plus 0.25 and it is equals to 1.25 ampere now the reading in our voltmeter was 43 division into its least count that is 0.05 and it is equals to 2.15 volt now to find out the corrected value we will add zero error in it 1. Point, 2.15 point plus error in the voltmeter that is 0.65 and it is equals to 2. 8 volts again we will calculate the resistance with it resistance is equals to voltmeter reading that is 2.8 upon ammeter reading that is 1.25 and it is equals to 2.24 ohms now we will find out the mean value of r from these three values so we will add the three values that is 2.4 plus 2.3 plus 2.24 upon the number of observation that is 3 so we will get 6.94 upon 3 and it is equals to 2.31 ohm it means the unknown resistance that we are using in our experiment has the resistance 2.31 ohm now to prove the ohms law that v is directly proportional to i we will draw a graph between the value of the voltage and the values of the current that we have get in our experiment so we will draw a graph between the potential difference 
along the x axis and current along the y axis now i have already marked the three points for the current reading and the voltmeter reading the first point in which the value of the current is 0.75 and the value of the voltage is 1.8 volt in the second reading the value of the current is 1 ampere and the value of the voltage is 2.3 volts now in the third reading the value of the current is 1.25 ampere and the value of the voltage is 2.8 volts so these are the three observation points now we will join these three points and see that whether we are getting the straight line or not after joining three observation point we have got a straight line so it means our ohm's law is verified that potential difference is directly proportional to current now the conclusion or result of our activity is that v is directly proportional to i that we have verified with the help of the graph between v and i that is a straight line it also proves the ohm's law now the second conclusion of our activity is that the ratio of v and i always remain same and that constant is equals to the resistance and in our experiment the value of the unknown resistance is 2.3 ohm so i hope this activity is clear to you and you have enjoyed it a lot thank you so much